Welcome back. It's time for a rave review. Well, guess what, guys? Selling Sunset season six drops this Friday on Netflix. The ladies are back. Well, most of the ladies are back with one glaring omission: the absence of Christine Quinn, who is no longer on the show. Now, many people, including myself and some of my inside sources, were worried about the show with Chris, Christine Quinn departing because she. Is the villain. She's the popular villain. She has a huge following, and you know, with a reality show, you need a villain. And where there's drama, where's the drama going to come from? Like, I love the real estate, but this show is all about the drama. So, more on the drama later. But take a look at the season six trailer. I know people think I'm having a midlife crisis, but I'm having an awakening. Shake that thing! But goals don't change. Ring that bell and cash some checks. <laughs> I don't think the O group is ready for me, but I think this is a perfect listing to show the caliber of houses I can sell. Wow. Are you ready for this? People say there's something alluring about mystery. I can't stand it. We've got Nicole. She's full time now. Good to see you again, my dear. I've been at the Oppenheim Group for over eight years. Real estate's everything. Michelle will do anything that will benefit her. You took credit for two listings that I sold. You're, You're clearly out to get me, and I want to get to the bottom of it. You like that fuse? Boom! Uh, yeah, so that's Friday. So just a little th things to note, by the way. Here is the cast. Here's, I was, okay, I've interviewed almost everybody from the original, I've, I've interviewed everybody from the original group. Here's the thing. Um, there is a new lady named Brie right here. Here's how it connects to us. She is one of the mothers of Nick Cannon's children. So Nick Cannon comes up a lot this season and her relationship with Nick Cannon and the child and Chelsea, right here, you remember from a couple of seasons ago, has some issues with Brie. So there's drama between Brie and Chelsea, which is crazy. Then you're thinking, where is the drama going to come from now? Because Christine is gone. And Christine and Chriselle had that back and forth the whole time. Well, now introduce Nicole over here. Nicole has actually been with the Oppenheim Group eight plus years. She really is a real estate agent. Uh, like, that's her real job. She's not a model or actress or doing other things. Now the drama is between Chriselle and Nicole. Now I'll be honest, do I feel like the drama is somewhat manufactured? A little bit, because I think I feel bad for Nicole. She walked into the situation. I have a feeling they needed a villain. She brought up things from three years ago. It doesn't seem relevant, but here's what I'll say about Chriselle. You're, you've never seen Chriselle like this in any other season. She has found a voice and she is using it and she is combative right back. Usually Chriselle would kind of retreat a little bit and not like the drama. Oh, Chriselle goes full in. Her and Nicole, I mean, it's crazy. I've watched the whole season. It's good. Do I miss Christine? Of course. And by the way, I know a lot of you don't like Davina, but Davina is a good friend of mine. And I was texting her, you will not see Davina very much this season. I don't know all the details, but it's still a good season. I really enjoy the drama between Brie and uh, Chelsea more than Chriselle and Anyway, and it just turned out Chriselle just got married to G Flip, who she calls G, right in time for the season six premiere. So anyway, that drops, all the episodes drop, 11 episodes this season on Friday. So check that out. I don't think you'll be disappointed, and the real estate is gorgeous. Okay, moving on to the Anna Nicole Smith documentary that dropped yesterday. Anna Nicole Smith, you don't know me. I just have to say it like that, because... I like that. Um, it follows the life of Anna Nicole, and for many years I followed her up till her death. I loved her reality show. She's hilarious. She's kooky. She's a mystery. Uh, so she's so over the top, and love her or hate her, she did make her dreams come true. That's what she says from the beginning. She wanted to be rich. She wanted to have money. She came from a poor background, and she was doing it all for her son, Daniel. Take a look at the trailer. Hi, it's me, Anna Nicole. I'm a whisper. I would just advise people just to follow their dreams. They can come true. I'm living proof. Getting Anna Nicole Smith has died. 
modeling, movies, her own TV show. The world is infatuated with Anna Nicole Smith. A death that opened a Pandora's box of questions. What is the truth about Anna Nicole Smith? I got married when I was 17 years old, and I thought to myself, I'm so lonely. And I thought, well, if I have a baby, I'll never be lonely again. Daniel was the reason why she wanted to get out of Texas. Everything that she did was for Daniel. I'm exposing everything. Anna knew how to work the crowd. Nothing could stop her. That's what it cost her. The reckoning has come, the time is now. Every little secret will be found. Looking back at that footage of her early days, just how stunningly beautiful she was. Such a tragic life. Her son Daniel died, then she passed away. Her daughter, Danny Lynn, with father Larry Perquette, always go to the Kentucky Derby, and that's my only time to get to see uh, Danny Lynn and how she's grown up to be a beautiful woman, looks just like her mother. Tragic story. I don't know if there's any new information in this, but it's worth a watch on Netflix. All right, and finally, one week from tonight, MasterChef United Tastes of America premieres. This season, they're going to try to find out which uh, part of the country has the best cook. Side note, we have a local person competing in this season on MasterChef. Yep, right here from Springfield on MasterChef. I've met them. We're going to have them on the show. I cannot wait for you to meet who this person is. I won't give any more details. But here, take a look at the sneak peek at this new season. MasterChef, season 13, United Tastes of America. We divided up the United States into four regions and found the best cooks. Go Midwest! These home cooks have a lot of regional pride to cook the best food from that area and represent. Let's go, baby! It's time to talk about this season's massive twist. You actually have the home cooks working in teams, cooking together in the MasterChef kitchen. Four regions, 20 contestants. The South plays dirty. Oh! This season is unique because you may not have had the best dish of the night. I would fire you on the spot. It's so terrible. But you could be saved by someone in your team having the overall best dish, which takes you and your region into the next stage of the competitions. This is exactly what we were asking for. But time will come where the regions will disassemble and it's every cook for himself in the MasterChef kitchen. I'm not going to be nice anymore. It's time to win. There's strategy in play. He's definitely someone to look out for in the competition, so I'm going to screw him over today. Season 13, the challenge is get more difficult. We're going out to military, to ballparks. Ice cold and it's raw. We have such a fantastic group of guests, judges. Andre Rush, a chef, a military man. One of the original OGs of Master Chef, Graham Elliott. <laughs> Stakes are high, the cooking level couldn't be higher. Iconic, classic. This year is gonna be one of the most competitive. Come on! We're in big trouble. It's a competition, guys. Find out where in America do the best cooks come from. <laughs> By the way, that premiere is next Wednesday, and right after, Gordon Ramsay has another show premiering, Gordon Ramsay's Food Stars at 8 o'clock, and we'll have a sneak peek of that uh, next week. But, Maddie, I'm so excited. If you look closely at that trailer, you see our local person in that, in that montage. You see who we have from Springfield on MasterChef. Okay, but obviously it's... Still a secret. Yeah, I will. I haven't got the green light that I can announce it yet. Okay. But I have. Because I, I was watching, but I don't, I don't yes. know who it is. But that's I, exciting. I happened to meet this person at an event, and we exchanged info, but I was like, you've got to come on the show. Please do. And they will cook for us as well. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Okay, good. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, uh, good I times. love MasterChef, sure. too. I'm yes. excited to watch. It, it, I've already watched four of the episodes. It's really good this season. Uh, that's all premiering next Wednesday, one week from tonight. All right, perfect. All right, don't go anywhere. Ian from Price Cutter is joining us when we come back with so many beautiful floral arrangements.